Before getting on to the bippity boppity work, Cinderella's 1950 Disney godmother comes out and seems to have mis misplaced her wand. She looks under the bench, she shakes out her dress. I forgot, I put it away, pulls it out of the air. Okay, so a few moments later, she's about to send Cinderella off to the ball, just still dressed in her rags, smiling benignly and nodding her head before realizing, oh goodness gracious child, you can't go to the ball dressed like that. So our round friend is a little absent-minded at times, but she leaves us with an important image that carries on for other godmothers, that she is chubby and cheery. Let's fast forward on to 2015. Helena Bonham Carter has lost the rounded figure, though not the rounded dress. Um, but she takes her pumpkin into the greenhouse, turns it into the coach there, and almost risks getting squashed by that pumpkin's enlargement. Why on earth did she do that? So Disney got rid of the rounded figure, but what did they have left? The ditziness. Okay, so sometimes our fairy godmothers are chubby and cheery, but they're also ditzy. So I wondered if this was just a Disney thing. So I looked at a few other fairy tale um, tropes on TV. And what did I find? From 1950 to 2016, from live action, from animation to live action, from Disney to non-Disney, we have these fat fairies. Sad, isn't it? Okay, so there are a few fit fairies. We have some in the Rogers and Hammerstein versions. We have some in the Slipper and the Rose. But they all seem fit into the same ideal body type, the ones that the princess have. So I termed them fit fairies. And do you want to know something? They get more screen time than the fat fairies do. <laughs> well, that's kind of a problem, especially in our fat-hating culture, because it perpetuates the fat taboo. Marilyn Wan, the researcher, the leading top researcher for the fat studies, says that even skinny people or pe normal sized people constantly live in this fear of getting fat. Why? Well, it's perpetuated by things like our friends on TV, our little fat fairies. We have a large variety of media, so we should have a large variety of stereotypes with their adjoining personalities. But fairy godmothers on TV show that we don't have this variety. Thank you.